Hey, this is Dragonfeather, and I'm here to talk about, is Draconic Wicca right for you? A lot of you guys have wanted to know where to start on this path, where to go, blah blah blah. Lots of different questions about this path because there's really not much information on it. Well, how do you decide if this path is right for you? Well, first of all, why the fuck are you in this path? Like, why are you delving into it? Are you delving into it because, ooh, it sounds cool? Are you delving into it because you have a connection to dragons and always have? Um, are you delving into it because it just seems to call to you? Are you delving into it because it seems cool and it is the thing to do right now, I don't know. You gotta figure out why you're going into this path. What are you gonna get out of it? What are you trying to get out of it? What are your motives? What are your, you know, your principles? What is your um, ethics and stuff like that? All right, what are you trying to get out of this path? And once you figure out what you're trying to get out of this path, then ask yourself, am I willing to dedicate so much time of mine, so much of my free time to my practice? Am I willing to practice every day more than once a day? Am I willing to do meditations all the time to get better at doing my path practice thing? Am I willing to leave offerings for the dragons that I work with? Am I willing to take orders from dragons that I work with? Am I willing to establish a relationship that could take years? It is not just a little phase kind of path. Like if you're gonna step onto this path, you need to realize that this is a very intense and demanding path. Like it is so much more demanding than just regular Wicca or eclectic Wicca or any form of Wicca because of how the dragons work and how the dragons energies are. Now they can read your soul basically, and see what you are trying to do. And if what you're trying to do conflicts from what you say you're trying to do, they're going to laugh at you, and they're going to make fun of you, and they are not going to work with you. And if they do, they're just going to make basically make it a game for them to fuck with you. Like, yeah, dragons will do that. They can be assholes if they want to be. Also, when you decide to work on this path, don't Pick this path to start out with. If you are into it because of the draconic Wiccan side of it, like the Wiccan side of it, then get really, really good with Wicca first. Don't just jump right into draconic Wicca without even learning about Wicca. Before you get on this path because it's so demanding and so different and so intense, I don't know how I can emphasize it enough. It's intense, not like camping. You need to figure out if you know enough yet, like if you know enough about Wicca, if you know, if you've practiced enough, if you have like, you know, your book of shadows is going, eh, not necessarily a thing that you have to have, but it helps. Have you casted successful spells yet? Have you done successful rituals? Have you felt connected doing these things yet? Have you even done a ritual? It's just, there's lots of questions you need to ask yourself. There's lots of things that you need to present yourself with and not lie to yourself. Don't lie to yourself, you guys, because if you lie to yourself, you're going to have some really big issues. If you lie to yourself, you're just setting yourself back and that's not what spirituality is about. Spirituality is about finding the truth in things that don't have answers. In my opinion, that's how it is. Once you figure out why you want this path, if you want this path, for absolute sure, if you have a good enough reason to join this path, if you're good in your practice with Wicca, if you've had successful spells, all of that, then you need to ask yourself, is this just a spur of the moment thing or do I still really want to practice it? And take a step back, you guys. Take a step back from looking it up and researching it and, you know, just take a step back and think about it. Think about if this is truly where you want to go, truly what you want to do. And if after, say, two weeks, three weeks, maybe a month, two months of thinking about it, then yeah, maybe you're ready and you can go into it. Don't start out casting, like, doing dra draconic w rituals and draconic magic out the wazoo because that's even more of a no-no than doing it just in regular magic and stuff. Please, please, I don't want you guys getting yourselves into trouble because it's not fun. Trust me, it's not fun. Once you delve into it, you know, you need to realize that you might not get answered for a while. A while. Dragons are very majestic. Ooh, majestic. Majestic. And they're very demanding. They are very... They don't take bullshit. I don't really know a term for that. Um, they don't, they don't put up with a lot of shit. They're very intolerant of bullshit. There we go. If you're going to bullshit all over them, then just stop. Just don't. Just don't even go there. Like, save yourself some issues, some problems, save yourself some drama, and just don't go there. <laughs> just don't go there, guys. This is not a path that is walked often. It's not common to find someone who actually works with this path because it is such 
a specific type, it's very difficult. It's not easy. It's not a path that you can just say, oh, whoop de fucking do guys. I'm a draconic witch, got my dragon guardian right here. Holla at him even though you can't see him. You know, holla at Fafnir. Like, don't be like that. Like, don't do shit like that. Keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself, you guys. If you are going to be in this path, keep what you learn to your damn self. And if you guys are spreading the name of your dragon, if the, your if a dragon came to you and fucking told them your name, don't tell anyone that. That is like, no, don't do it. It's just gonna get you bit in the ass. You know? Unless you have either permission or you absolutely 100% without a shadow of a doubt trust someone, which is pretty hard to do these days. Like, if you feel that strongly about a person, then yes, you can tell them your name. You can tell them their name. There we go. Don't go out and brag about it. That's not what this path is about. It's not being like, ooh, I'm a draconic witch. Like, when people ask me what my path or what my practice is in, like, my normal everyday life, I do not say that I'm draconic Wiccan. I say I'm a pagan. Like, they don't need to know the itty gritty details of who I am and what I do. Like, mostly because you will get made fun of for being on this path. I can guarantee it right now. So, it's, it's, it's a tough path. It's not easy. But if you are willing to take responsibility for your actions, if you really truly know who the fuck you are and what you're doing delving into this path, go for it. If you know for absolute sure that this is what's right for you and that without a shadow of a doubt, like you know what you're doing, you know where you're gonna go, you know how to perform rituals already, you know how to cast your circles, you've either, you know, you've dealt with magical things, um, you've made like spell bottle you've done all these things like you you're not new to just wicca in general you're not like brand new three or four like even 13 months into it like you you got years behind you like you've got practice behind you even right now me personally yes me i'm taking a break from draconic wicca because i am not ready for it I don't want you guys to think that this path is easy, because it is not, and I'm going to tell you that right now. If you want an easy path, don't do Draconic Wicca because you're going to fuck yourself over. You need to dedicate time to it. You can't just be a pushover. You need to be disciplined. You need to have um, principles that you follow. It's very, very different than Wicca. If you truly feel like you can do this, then I'm not going to tell you no. I'm not going to not help you if I don't think you guys are ready. I will answer your guys' questions on this. I just want you to know, like, warning guys, this shit is serious. Don't mess with dragons. You know what? I'm probably going to get shit for this too. Just because putting myself on the internet, especially talking about dragons like this, I'm going to get shit for this. But you know what? That's cool. That's fine. You know, I'd rather get shit for it than people getting themselves hurt, I guess, in a, in a sense. Just fucking themselves over. Don't do that. Just don't do that. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this. Again, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below and let me know, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. But until next time, blessed be, guys. Bye.